Hi, in this video I'm going to be talking about tumor grade. What does tumor grade mean and what role does it play in making treatment decisions between you and your medical team? Tumor grade sounds like stage. It's really important to understand that they're different. So I'm going to describe first what stage is and then what grade is. So stage as you may know, refers to the size of the tumor and the lymph nodes, and also where is the tumor in your body. So how big is it? How many lymph nodes are involved, if any? And if you have disease in other parts of your body, like the bone, the lung, or the liver, those are all involved in stage. Grade actually refers to something very different. The grade is something we look at under the microscope. After your tumor is removed or after a biopsy, the tumor is put in paraffin and then the pathologist looks at it using special stains and a special microscope and from that we can find out the grade. So what exactly is grade? Grade tells us how different the breast cancer tumor you had looks from normal breast tissue. So just to back up a little bit, cancer cells are normal cells that have gone off. They've sort of become rogue if you want to think about it that way. If you have a low grade tumor or grade one, it means that those tumor cells look a lot like normal breast tissue. The cells are pretty organized. We'll see things like tubules, which we see in normal breast tissue. I'm gonna to switch to grade three right now. Grade three is the exact opposite. The tumor cells under the microscope and how they work together, how that whole area looks under the microscope, is really disorganized. It still looks like breast tissue, but the tubules aren't well formed. The pathologist might actually be able to tell that the tumor cells are dividing under the microscope or that they were when the tumor was removed. So grade one, tumor looks a lot like normal breast tissue. Grade three, the exact opposite. It's kind of disorganized. Grade two is somewhere in the middle. You can see how different this is from stage, which tells us how big the tumor is, about the lymph nodes and where the cancer is in your body. I've had patients whose breast cancer was stage one but had a grade of grade three who thought they had stage three, which is a lot different in terms of how we treat it, prognosis, et cetera. So that's why I'm making a big point about this. You may not actually know the stage of the cancer until after surgery, whereas we know a lot about the grade before surgery. One thing I do wanna mention is the grade on the biopsy can be different from the grade when the tumor is removed. So what you'll often see in your pathology report is preliminary grade two, for example. And then when the tumor is removed, it'll say grade one, or it might say grade three. And that's because the biopsy removes a small amount of tissue. When we remove the entire tumor, that's where we can really see what we call the architecture of that tumor. So don't be surprised if the biopsy and the final report after the tumor's out are a little bit different. That's not that uncommon. Now I'm going to talk about how grade affects treatment plans. I'm going to start with DCIS, ductal carcinoma in situ, or stage zero. Ductal carcinoma in situ can also be called non-invasive breast cancer. By definition, DCIS cannot spread to other parts of your body. So we don't use the grade to decide do you need chemotherapy, etc. What we use DCIS grade for is to decide can you possibly be somebody where we don't have to give radiation therapy. Let me expand on that a little bit. If the DCIS is low grade, that means the cells are not all that disorganized. Remember, they're kind of maybe placid is a good way to think about it, or sleepier. And your DCIS is small. The surgeon removed all the tumor and got also a normal rim around the tumor. That means that radiation therapy in some people could be skipped. In all other people, in higher grade DCIS, we don't recommend skipping radiation therapy. Now I'm going to switch to invasive breast cancer, stages one, two, and three, and how the grade plays a role in invasive breast cancer. In tumors that are lower grade, lymph node negative, and estrogen receptor positive, those people have a lower risk of the cancer coming back, and also chemotherapy doesn't work as well. Take that same tumor, same size, for example, even with estrogen receptors, and it's a grade three tumor. That means the cells are active and disorganized. 
that person is more likely to benefit from chemotherapy. So can you see how it plays a role? It's different if it's grade one from if it's grade three. So a lot of people will say grade three is more aggressive. I'm careful with that word because surprisingly chemotherapy is more effective in a more active tumor. I tend to use the word active instead of aggressive. I think aggressive sort of gives this heavy feeling to it. I'm not talking about something different. I'm not using a nice word for a hard word. I'm using a word that actually makes sense in terms of how we treat it. In terms of radiation therapy, I already mentioned in ductal carcinoma in situ that lower grade tumors, those people with lower grade tumors may be candidates to skip radiation therapy and that people with higher grade tumors, high grade ductal carcinoma in situ, we tend to give radiation therapy. How does this play a role in invasive breast cancer with, in terms of radiation therapy? In radiation therapy, in making decisions in a grade three tumor, we're more likely to want to give, for example, an extra boost. What that means is a little extra radiation therapy to where the tumor was in the breast. So if you keep the breast, that is you have a lumpectomy and you're getting radiation therapy, we may add on additional treatments if the grade is high, if it's grade three. So it does play a role in radiation therapy. If you want to learn more about your tumor grade and your treatment options, go to your unique Yerba report. If this video is helpful to you, like it below and subscribe to our YouTube channel. That way other people can find it.